What's up, I'm Dulex, and I'm converting this cargo van into a home. Today I'll be making the bed, but first I need to insulate and cover this wall. I'm bolting this piece into the wall to act as a support for the bed later on. In order to make sure that the bed is long enough for a human being to lay in it, I'm going to be putting an inset headboard into the wall. This should support someone who's up to 6 foot 2 inches tall.
I'll be working on the actual bed frame. I'll be using 2x4s as the base and 1x3s as my top with an eighth of an inch spacer in between each slat. By having one floating 2x4 and alternating the screws so that some of the slats are attached to the floating piece and some of them are attached to the bolted in frame, you can have the bed change size anytime you want to. So the bed is structural and everything works. So technically I could stop right now, but it's not sliding as well as I would like it to. So there are three things that are really easy that I can do right now that'll make this slide a lot better, function a lot more and be a lot more professional. So the first problem is that when I first pull out the bed and when it's sliding back in at the very end, the strips aren't aligning with the starting point very well because they're dipping so what i'm going to do is add a thin piece on the top of this and just attach it to all the pieces that slide and this is going to help keep everything level and aligned Second big problem is that when you're sliding it back in, sometimes the slats hit the two by fours on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is actually chamfer or round over the edges of all of the sliding pieces so that when they get to the end, they have an easier time getting back up on top of that two by four. And 
then the third thing, this is by far the easiest thing to do. I'm just going to add some paste wax onto the sliding rail so that it slides just a little bit more smoothly and feels a little bit more professional when you're pulling it out and putting it back in. And I'm also going to add a rubber piece to the other side where it's resting on the countertop. If you have a rail on yours, then you would just add paste wax there. But I'm just adding rubber so that we don't ruin this nice countertop that I put in. So there you go, it's sliding way better now. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I'll be making an upper cabinet above the headboard in order to add some more storage to the van as well as cover up some of the seams from that wall that I made earlier. Now it's time to cut this mattress in half so I can use it for the sliding bed. And thank you to the comment section for letting me know about these bread cutters. Lifesaver.
All right, so here's the thing. Um, this mattress is way too big. I didn't pick this mattress, but uh, this is a 12-inch mattress. I didn't realize that until I put it in here. But don't worry. This would totally work if this mattress wasn't so huge. Let me... I mean, you can't even put your head under the cabinet over here because there's so much... There's so much... There's so much mattress to this mattress. Oh my god, dude. Oh, this is way too big. Oh wow. We're definitely doing something else. So there you go, that's how I made this bed. It's very simple, but very useful in the, in the realm of space. I didn't get to finish this cabinet up here because I ran out of hinges for the doors. So I can't put these on yet. So I'm waiting for those to come in, but I'm gonna be finishing that up in my next video because I'm gonna be doing all of the finishing touches in this van, all of the little trim and things like this, cabinet doors, paint, little stuff like that. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. And if you want the plans for this, then they'll be on my website, free download in the description. If you want to donate for them, you can. But if you don't want to pay for them, they're free. Just download the plans, do what you got to do. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one later.